Hello and welcome back to the LiDAR mapping script setup video. Uh, in this video we'll talk about two other features added in version 3 with multi LCD support and user customizable action sequences via timer blocks. So to start with the timer block, we simply place a timer block. Um, you set up whatever actions you want in here. Uh, Play a sound block, turn lights on, run another timer block, run another programmable block, etc. This one simply plays a sound block and turns lights on. And the only thing we need to do to make it work is add the timer block to the block group and recompile the script. Warning, and there you go. So that's it for that. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, for the multi-LCD support, you simply come into the LCD. Whatever your name tag is, is what you'll use here. And We'll go over this in the uh, script settings in just a second, but you'll have one through four for mode one. Right, mode one is four LCDs. Mode two is two LCDs. So for mode one, we simply go one, two, three, Four. And if we come down into the script, I'll show you where this is at. This is just right here. You have mode one, four LCDs, and it goes top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And mode two is top and bottom, one and two. Um, and then you select which mode you're using right here, mode one or mode two. By default, um, it looks for this tag right here, which is the name tag. Same tag as up here. And this delimiter. And you can change it to whatever you want. By default, it's a colon. So the default is uh, LiDAR in brackets here and a colon. Um, so that's that. So all we need to do is add those four LCDs. One, two, three, four, to the LiDAR block group, and recompile. Warning, enemies detected. And then you have the big screen. So that's mode one. We take it and we use it instead on mode two. Mode one. And two, and what I'm going to do is get rid of these so it doesn't uh, mess the picture up on those. Now we simply add those two to the LiDAR system. LiDAR block group, rather. Save and recompile. Sorry, you have to make sure you set the display mode to two for that. Warning, there we go. And now you have mode two set up. And that is pretty much it for the advanced settings for the LiDAR mapping script. Uh, thanks for watching and please feel free to leave a comment or a suggestion. Thank you.